Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Today I came up with one new project. How to check disk utilization in your systems. But before going into deep of the project, let us understand few basic concepts and then we will start building our project. So the first thing is, if any command output I want to store inside a variable, what are the ways to do that? So there are two ways. One way is use the dollar symbol and then a small bracket, write your command and close your small bracket. The other way is assign the value of command using back tick symbol and put the command inside it. Let us see it practically. So suppose I want to store value of date inside a variable. So what I'll do where is equal to dollar then a small bracket and inside the bracket I'll use the date command. And when you will do echo dollar where you will get the output of date stored into that variable similar way if you want to store the name of your machine into a variable the other way is back tick method so using back tick what you have to do in this back tick symbol in between you have to write the command whatever the command you want to write so now when i do echo dollar test you can see the stored of host name is stored into this variable. So these are the two ways by using which you can store the output of a command inside a variable. This will be very useful when we will be writing our today project. Now, apart from that, we will be learning awk and cut command basics, how to read a file content and what is the use of grep command. Now, how to read a file content? So the first method to read a file content is using VI editor or Vim editor or Nano editor. It depends on your requirements or your system. But we, we are more frequently using VI editor. So let me show you how you can read the file content using VI editor. So suppose I have a file name here, file name dot text. If I have to read this using VI command, I can read. So you can see this file is having 17 lines written. I can read it. Now, what is the syntax? VI, your file name. Now, if you want to save it or you want to skip the open file, escape column, and Q to quit the file. Now, if this file, you want to put the line numbers in the beginning of each line. So, there is an option called escape command, then colon symbol, and then put set NUMVR number. So what it will do, it will set number in each line of the file. So this is how we use VI editor. Now, the another way is you can use cat command, less command, more command to open a file. Let us see how cat command works. Cat is a command, directly you use cat and whatever the file name it is. So you can, when you will run cat and your file name dot text file, you can see content of the file directly written on your screen. Similar way, you have less command. You can use the less command to see the uh, read the lines in your file and you can using the escape Q option, you can quit the file. Similar way, using more command, you can open the file and you can see the content of the file. So these are the multiple ways by which we do reading of our files. Now, if you want to know some more variations of more command, let me show you. If in the more command, I am using more hyphen to your file name dot text. Let us see what happens. So, from beginning, it is showing only two lines of the file. So, display text up to a specified line. So, we have a specified only a minus two. So it's displaying only two lines of the file. Now let us quit it. If I want to do suppose 10 more hyphen 10, then what it is doing from line 1 to line 10, it is displaying in front of us. So this is one variation of more command. Now the another option is more has plus n option also. We have checked the minus n which display text up to a specified line. Now plus n, the text is displayed from the specified line. Like if I am doing more plus 10. 
So what it will do? It will start displaying the file content starting with the tenth line. So let us see. You can see it is starting displaying from the tenth line till the last of the line. So this is one variation with minus options. You can see the content till that point with plus options. You can start seeing the content beginning from that point. So this is the variation of more command in reading the files. Similar way, we have the head command. Head command is also used to see the content of the file. So if you use normal head and your file name, file name dot text, what it will do? It will display the default top 10, top 10. It will display the default top 10 lines of your file. By default, it displays only 10 lines in the file. Top 10, head to top 10. So by default, head command reads top 10 lines from a file. Now, if you use head minus n and your file name, this option displays the top n number of lines of the documents. So suppose if I'm using head, minus 5. So what it will do? It is displaying top 5 lines of your file. Similar way, if I want to use, there is an option called tail command. By default tail command read last 10 lines of the file. So instead of head, let us use the tail command and see how exactly tail command is working. So tail and your file name. So what tail command is doing, tail by default is displaying last 10 lines of your file. This is head is top 10 lines of the file and tail is last 10 lines of the file. Now the option display tail hyphen n your file name. This option displays the last n number of lines of your document. So if I want to do tail minus 5, what it will do? It is only displaying last five lines of your file. So these are the ways by which you can read the content of your file. Now, there is a very important concept in cell scripting that is awk command. So what is exactly awk command? What are the uses of awk command? This we will understand and then we will go directly to our project work. The awk command is a powerful method for processing or analyzing text or data files which are organized by lines, rows or records. So line, each line is called a row or a record and column is called field. You have to remember that a row is called record as well. So each line is a row or each line is a record and column is field. So each column inside your file is called fields. So we can use awk as a Linux command and also as a scripting language like bash shell scripting. But in our cell scripting, we will be learning awk as a command. So using awk command, we will be understanding how to manipulate our file content using awk command. So how to use the awk command? One way to use awk command is awk, your options, whatever the selection criteria you are using, in the curly braces, writing the action, and then your file name. Or the other way is, you can use the cat command to, uh, and your file name which will display all content of file then using the pipe symbol this pipe symbol is very important so whatever the output of cat command will come which will be used as input for our awk command so cat input file then pipe symbol awk command options whatever the selection criteria your action and then your input file so now let us try so Suppose what I am doing, I am running df-h command. Now using df-h command, I am seeing the file system, the size of file system, used file system, available, used percentage and mounted drive name. So using df-h command in our companies also, we use this command too frequently to check the disk utilization of each file system in my organization. Now. Here you can see there is a drive called dev mapper sent OS root. The name is slash drive. Here you see it is 86% used in my system. What we have to do? We have to use the awk command to see this file system and its utilization. So what we will do? df h command and then using the pipe symbol, what I am doing, the output of df h command is 
used as the input to our awk command. So what we can do awk and then we use double these quotes and inside the quotes use the curly braces and put your action. So there is a command in awk which is very used that is print command. Print and then each column is called field. So file system this is a field, this is a field, this is a field, this is field, this is field, this is field. This is field. Now, if you want to see this used percentage field here, means this column if you want to see, this explicitly, this column if you want to see what to do. So it will start from 1, 2, 2, 5. So this column is fifth column. So if you put print dollar 5, what this will do? Let us see. So command what it has run it is giving you the content of the fifth column so first content was used percentage then 0 0 2 percent 0 86 percent 17 percent 76 percent 0 percent 0 percent so you can get particular field running this awk command so what i am doing awk inside these quotes i am using curly braces and print is the command which is called action and I am telling that print my fifth field. So the fifth field is used percentage which it is giving me as a output. Now what is my requirement? My requirement is I want to get the output of only this file system. So there is a command. That command is grep command. So grep command can be used to filter any particular content as per your requirement. So suppose if I want to grab this file system only, I'll use df-h, I'll pass the output of this df-h to pipe symbol and then grab command. So what it is doing? It is showing us only this file system now. Now, let us do one thing. Now, in this df-h, if I want to get only the used percentage, like how much disk is used in my system. So what I'll do? Again, pipe on this output, awk and we will start with these quotes. Inside the quotes use the curly braces. Print is the command to get particular field. Our field is what is the number. So this is first, this is second, this is third, this is fourth and this is fifth. So print dollar and what is the line? That is fifth line. So this is the fifth column which value 86% you got. So now you can see this particular file system is 86% used. Now we can start writing some conditions on basis of this and see how our scripting will be working in our case. But here what you are getting, you are getting 86 but it is containing percentage also. But with this percentage we can't do the integer level calculations. So you have to only get the value 86 here. So what we can do in this case, there is very powerful command similar like awk which is cut, cut command. What this cut command will be doing, cut command will cut the basis of your specified separator or delimiter we see. So what we will do, cut hyphen d, d is called delimiter and then what is your separator here, percentage which you want to cut. And I told you the, the field is called columns, so here if you remove the this one uh, percentage this is the first field and this percentage is the delimiter so what you want to do you want to print the first field after removing the delimiter so sorry this will have hyphen uh, f1 so here you can get 86 as your output so now for a particular file system, I can get what is the used percentage. So percentage used is 86%. What is my requirement? I want to write a cell script which will generate a message or alert when this utilization is more than 80% in my system. Now our requirement is to generate the alert on basis of these conditions. So now go to your disk utilization script and let us start writing the script. So the first line will be bin bash. This is the CBang line which we will be using for each of the script. Then it will start with echo. 
eco i am writing check disk uses in linux file system you can write any message as per your requirements now what i am doing i am defining a variable called disk size its name can be anything but i am giving its name as disk size what i am doing using this backtick symbol i am storing the output of this complete command into variable called disk size so what i am doing df-h which will give the all the disk file systems and its utilization then using grep i am filtering only one file system using awk command i am printing the value of fifth column that is uh, the percentage used and then output of this final i am passing to cut command and then you removing the delimiter percentage because it was giving 86 percentage so i am removing separating it with the delimiter percentage and then I am printing only the first column that is 86. So disk size will have the value 86 once it will execute. Now I am printing the message echo double quotes dollar disk size means 86. This will dollar disk size will have the value 86. And then I am writing percentage. So 86 percentage of disk is filled. And now I am writing my if condition. Dollar disk size means 86 hyphen gt is greater than 80 disk utilization is more than 80 percent and disk or delete files soon so this message i am printing else i am telling enough disk is available in my system so now let us run this one so dot slash disk disk utilization dot asset so what message you got 86% of disk is filled, disk utilization is more than 80%, expand disk or delete file soon, whatever the message I printed. Now suppose I am removing the file and clearing the space here. So rm-rf, your file, I am removing the file. Now again, let us try to run the same script and see if it's working or not working. So dot slash disk utilization dot asset. So now you see percent of disk is filled enough disk is available so now it a if a statement was not executed else a statement was executed in my script it it went into the else block because it was not greater than 80 percent so we got the message enough disk is available so i hope this script is clear for you guys we'll be having much we'll have many more videos related to awk and cut command keep watching the videos and thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time these scripts will be uploaded to our github account from there you can download the script as well thank you so much guys